I have a returning guest, I'm proud to say. I have Ed Hirschfeld from Brown Rudnick. Hi, Ed. Hi, Jeffrey. How are you doing today? Very good, thanks, Ed. Ed, uh, people don't know uh, that you are a, a big real estate uh, attorney, so why don't you tell us a little bit about your practice first, and then we'll get into our story. Sure, uh, absolutely. Uh, again, it's a pleasure to be back here. Uh, I've been at Brown Rudnick uh, just over 29 years now. <laughs> Hard to believe. I started when I was five, uh, which is a good thing. <laughs> and, um, and Brown Rudnick is uh, an international law firm. Uh, we're located in, in London, Boston, New York, D.C. Since I was here last, we've opened uh, an office in Irvine, California, in Orange County. And uh, my own practice is more on the real estate, uh, finance, uh, corporate side of things, and it's acquisition development of, uh, of real estate for all types of uses, a lot of uh, uh, debt deals, buying distressed properties, um, restructuring distressed properties, but also uh, development of you know, working on some casino projects that we'll probably talk about, and, some, and a number of things around the city of Boston and throughout the country. Well, you know, uh, I guess the state and the city in terms of real estate is in transition. There's, a, there's just so much going on. And uh, a couple of projects, which I guess people would want to listen to, we'll start to talk about, is, uh, which you brought in this morning, the casino. And uh, what's going on there and what's your interpretation on everything? Well, there are, we, we're, at, at the firm, we're involved with two projects. Um, some of my partners are doing, spending a lot of time in connection with MGM out in Springfield which is competing for one of the licenses, or for the casino license in the western part of Massachusetts. And I'm spending, and have been spending a lot of time in connection with the Cordish companies, which is competing for the slots license, and Cordish has a, a location right now in Lemonster that's coming up for a vote. So the current situation, Jeffrey, is that there are, the, the commission can, can award up to three licenses for major casinos, full-blown casinos, one of which will be in eastern Massachusetts. There are three competitors still in the running for that. It's Steve Wynn and Everett. Um, it's the uh, Suffolk Downs Casino, and then there's another one in Milford, um, which is Foxwoods, I believe, is, is uh, who's pushing that casino um, opportunity. Then in the western part of the state, it's down to two um, uh, potential contenders. There's a project in Palmer, Massachusetts, and there's the MGM project. And then the uh, there, the other casino is a, is a slots only casino, which will be 1,250 slots, uh, not the kind with an arm, and, but the video slots primarily, and restaurants and other items. And there are three contenders still in the running for that um, the Cordish companies in Lemonster, and then there are two others one in Plainville and one in, in Raynham that are still out there. And uh, the, the, the field has been really narrowing itself uh, for a couple of reasons. One is um, some, some of the potential. Um, players in the industry uh, decided that they couldn't find a location that they liked. And then um, in the second instance, there have been some, some cases where the towns or cities in which they wanted to locate decided that they really didn't want to, did not uh, want the opportunity in their, in, in their city or town. 